bar at night because I do dumb shit. Oh, you're trying to predict the light. When which one is gonna? Oh, bruh, we ain't get it. Okay. Anyways, what's up, guys? Hell, hey, hi, it's me, Mister Three Hundred OG. And today I am doing something that I've always wanted to do. I kept thinking about, but I was like, you know what? Let me do it today. I beam that, bro. And that thing is go to New York City at one o'clock in the morning. Not specifically one o'clock in the morning, but you know, late. Hello. I think that's exact. Should be double check, of course. As I was saying. I've always wanted to ride my bike in this city at this time of night. Up, 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 see that? Ooh. Ah, damn. Ah, well, look like we're gonna be going the tunnel for a little bit. But yeah, I want to ride my bike, this is gonna be boring. Now that we are out of the tunnel, I've always wanted to ride my bike in the city at this time of night. And I kept thinking about it, thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? Let me just fucking do it. Reason why I didn't want to do it is because, excuse me, after my accident, I'm very conscious of how bad things could go, even when you're trying to do them right. Like right now, even though it's kind of like a negative thought, but it's also really real. Like, if somebody would have hit me, they could easily take off, you know, hit and run. It's easy to do at night. There's so much more shit to go wrong at night. Potholes. So my anxiety was kind of like, nah, nigga, let's just stay inside. <laughs> and ride during the daytime. But you don't grow if you always stay in. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a ride up to probably, I don't know, 96th Street on the highway. Oh, snap. On the highway and then come down the city streets. All right, what's this thing doing? Take 96, take up to 96th Street and then come back down on the main streets. Or preferably just to get Times Square in the shot. I'm going to get a picture with the bike in Times Square. That's my secondary mission. But so far I'm accomplishing my first mission, which is to just come out here. Mouth is dry. Oof. Also want to take a break. I've been working on a 300 worldwide website and that junk is stressing me out a little bit. I am a perfectionist when it comes to art. And if I have an idea for something, a vision for something, and I see it in my head, I want to get it done. Like, I want to create that vision. And I have a vision for the landing page, or at least for how the, the website is going to be laid out. And I can't get one image up there. One image. Not even just one image, but that's my, my starting image. That's my foundation image. You know, that's what I feel like. It's like the foundation or the front door of your house. Eesh. I need that image to work. It's like my front door, my welcoming mat to all you guys that enter. It's been trouble trying to get it, but I don't know. I either gonna give up on it or 
trying. But as I said, taking a break is what I needed. Ooh. So I figured I'd take a break and let my mind wander on something else creatively, like editing this vlog. Oops. Ooh, my bad. Hopefully using different energy, a different mindset will help me reapproach the original problem differently with a different kind of energy. That is my hope. Can't come at a problem the same way over and over and over. Doing definition of whatever Let me do what I know how to do. Let me not wall out. <laughs> Easy way to die right there, guys. Easy way. That was fun, but you know. And I don't feel comfortable racing at night or going fast at night because I can't see anything. I'm already naturally blind and all these potholes and shit. Just another, another thing for me to get caught up on. Ooh. Woo! God damn! I've been getting relaxed. Relaxed. It's a goddamn thing. Alright, 96th Street is here. Oof. That was fast. That was fast. Well, this would be a short vlog then. Where the fuck is turn on? Oh. All right. Okay. Woo! It's a little bit chaotic there. That's why I want to ride with people at night. Or just ride at night, period. Like, do crazy shit like that, man. Jesus. And then in a car, like, I'm in a bike. That is not the smartest thing for me to do. Whew. Whew. I'll take a low key road first and then get back onto the main ways. I have no clue how long I was going to have this vlog be, but whatever. As I was saying, which I'm now saying with my dry mouth and my untied shoes. Yeah, I feel like taking a break is good. I don't like switching up on what I'm focused on, but I kind of got to do that. If I focus on a website and that front image the whole freaking time, my mind is going to be stuck on that same thing. Uh, so I gotta do something different. I'm too blind for this. Too blind. I should never came on this road. It's too many lights, too many stop signs. But once I stop looking at the same problem over and over, I think I'll find my solution. <laughs> I've been trying to get out the same point for like 38 minutes. And speaking of the, the brand, 300 Worldwide, it's like, I don't know how deep I want to take it, how deep I want to go with it. Like, I have a vision for it, but it's like, how much work am I willing to put into it? How much upkeep am I willing to keep up doing on it? The way I do things, I don't like doing things half-assed. I like to do them fully, completely, all out, you know? So if I start this brand, I'm committing to giving it my best 
and also giving you guys my best every time I release something. Which then brings me down to the point of how am I going to release things? How am I going to get the clothes to you guys? Shipping. <sighs> I don't know if you guys can understand, but it's a lot that's going into this. A lot of a lot of thoughts, a lot of time, a lot of racking my brain. But then again, I know damn well I don't have to do this. I love what I do, and I love the art, and it makes me feel alive. So. If this is the work that comes with it, well, bang, gang, let's get it done. Not only am I working on the website, <laughs> I'm also working on my other brand, my first brand, which is called This Is Life. You guys will find out more. I feel like I've actually mentioned it before, but you guys will find out more about that I don't know whatever but that is my, my my baby that is my mission this is life is what I believe I was put here on this earth to do my purpose and uh, yeah I gotta get that going this brand came up oh somebody's sleeping This is life is, oh my God. Real quick, it's, it's a lifestyle brand. You see how I do with motorcycles and how you've probably seen people all do all over YouTube, which is vlog and they share their life. That's something I've always done, but through clothes. And I am trying to keep that going, bring that back. This motorcycle, Motor vlogging thing is not where I started out at. Because of my 10 years of designing clothes and running a business, I was able to learn and have the tenacity to figure out how to motor vlog and do something else that I enjoy. This right here is actually just a, a very, I say out of my whole 100% of me, the whole thousand percent of me, motor vlogging is a good 25% I feel like that's low but 20, 25% of the puzzle can't see a damn thing and per usual Woo! This is why I don't ride at night. This is why I don't ride at night. Can't see, oh! Can't see nothing coming to us in your face. Shit. Like I'm staring at the ground while trying to look straight ahead. Searching for potholes. And I probably should be going slow, honestly. <laughs> but I'm on a motorcycle, can't help it. Here we are, Times Square. I'm square, I'm square. Hey. Shit. 
got to dodge people in New York, bro.